Hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm the owner of CS Apex Landscape Design, a landscape design company in southeastern Colorado, the Colorado Springs area specifically. And what I do is I talk about tips and tricks for the home landscaper. Now, in previous videos, I have talked about trimming and pruning trees and shrubs. Um, and I specifically said that I would make a video talking very specifically about pruning and trimming. So as promised, here it is. Now, before we get started, I wanna make sure that you understand that whether you're in Colorado or whether you're anywhere else in the country, it, it doesn't matter. These trimming and pruning styles are the same everywhere. Now, there are different nuances, there's different timings, depending on what part of the country you're in and where you are, but overall, the basic techniques are the same. A big thing before we get started is no matter what, you do not want to take more than a third of the tree, a third of the shrub, a third of whatever you're trimming. Do not take more than a third of it in one year. Not one season, one year. Now you can prune and trim a little bit here, a little bit there throughout the year, which can work and cannot work. But the big thing is don't take over a third. Now, why they say don't take more than a third, studies have found that if you take more than that, your chances of killing that tree, killing that shrub, increase exponentially. So, do not take more than a third. Now, as far as the techniques of trimming and pruning, I will always refer you back to the experts. If you are in doubt, if you don't know, especially with trees, because trees, they can cause a lot of damage if they're not done right. And in reality, trees are expensive. Um, I know in my industry, here in our little pocket of the country, my average that I'll estimate for just a not fancy, simple shade tree is, a, is around $600. And that's not with planting, that's not with compost, That that's just the tree. So, that, that's a huge investment that you could potentially lose. Always defer to the expert. And in this case for trees, it's an arborist. So if you have a local arborist, definitely reach out to them when you're getting ready to trim any trees. Shrubs, you can generally do on your own, but again, arborists, that, that's what they do. They trim trees, they trim shrubs, that's what they do. Okay, now there's two different ways to prune or trim. Two basic techniques, two, that's it. it. It's that simple. Let's start with the more shrub based, which is the rule of thumb. Why is it called the rule of thumb? You're going to look at your thumb right here where the base of your thumb is. Any limb, stick, branch larger than the base of your thumb is old growth. Now, old growth, generally doesn't bloom as well as newer, newer growth. So with the rule of thumb, you take out any branches, any shrub, any limbs, anything bigger than the base of your thumb. This is a great method for lilacs, hydrangeas, dogswoods, roses, all of those plants that tend to grow on newer growth now, with the exception of lilacs and roses that want to grow on second year growth, if your second year growth is bigger than the base of your thumb, and I've got, I've got pretty small hands, uh, that, that's a huge amount of growth in one year and you probably are over fertilizing or over watering. So, but, so generally, rule of thumb, as far as shrubs are concerned, is a great method. Uh, the only time I would say that this would not work is on shrubs that need the old growth to bloom. Um, I'll be honest, I can't think of any on the top of my head. Normally, lacks, lacks and roses are that, but again, if it's bigger than this, that, that's huge. It's not blooming anyway. Now, the exception to that is if the previous owner didn't take care of their shrubs, didn't take care of their plants. And when I mean don't take care of, at least in Colorado Springs, we're a huge military population. 
on average, people, families are in their homes three to five years here because they PCS, they move on, they get a new duty station, or as the case may be, they had a three or five year contract and now they're done. They're moving back home or they're moving to where their forever area is. I looked out, my forever, my husband wanted his forever area to be Colorado, so this is where we stayed. What happens in those busy situations is three to five years is when you're supposed to trim your shrubs. Well, if this house has been in turnaround every three to five years, that shrub may not have been taken care of. It may not have had its every three to five year rotation of trimming or pruning. Just because in reality, the family moved on before that three year or that five year happened. There's a lot going on when people move. I'm sure everybody knows that. It just didn't happen. It fell through the cracks. It's okay. It happens. I'm not blaming anybody. What we need to do then is not consider the rule of thumb. We're too big. If over half of the plant is bigger than the base of your thumb, don't you can't use the rule of thumb method. That's a great maintenance method. It's not a good cleaning up, fixing up, getting everything back on schedule. What you're going to do instead is the rule of thirds. Now, it's going to sound very similar. Like I said, don't take more than a third of the plant ever. But a rule of third is great for a large shrub. It's great for a shrub or tree that just hasn't been maintained for one reason or another. It's great for trees in general. Just It's a great tree method. What you're going to do is you're going to want to take a third of the branches. You're going to want to take a third of the width third of the height just overall a third of that plant now especially with lilacs and overgrown dogwoods where really yes you should be doing the rule of thumb but you just need to get the bulk out take the largest branches whatever they are out again don't take more than a third but take a third of it out that'll start cleaning it up they'll start getting that old dead wood out and start cleaning cleaning it up now once you've gotten that cleanup done once you're on a regular schedule of every three to five years and believe me if you've got an absolutely out of control shrub and i've seen it unfortunately you might need to do this rule of thirds for two three years in a row it's okay again don't surpass that that third but if you have to do it every year to get that plant, to get that shrub, to get that tree to a healthy position, do it. It's well worth it. Again, with a tree, you're looking six, seven hundred dollars easy to replace that tree. First is spending a couple hundred here, a couple hundred there to get it back under control. So then you can every five years be spending that hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I'm going to be honest, I forgot to check with my arborist how much he's charging now. Don't quote me on the price. The key is that we want to get everything under control to an easily maintainable status. I'm going over my notes to make sure I didn't forget anything. Now, whether you're using the rule of thumbs or whether you're using the rule of thirds, something to be aware of and make sure that you consult with your local experts your local garden centers, nurseries, your local extension office. Shoot, if you are in the Colorado Springs area, you are welcome to reach out to me. You want to make sure that you're not trimming your shrub or your tree when it's getting ready to bloom. And what do I mean by that? So lilacs and roses, in case you didn't know, they set their blooms in the fall, which means that they're putting all of their energy into those blooms that will come out in the spring they're not doing it in February, March, April. They're doing it in September and October. Typically, we suggest pruning and trimming in the fall. Not with lilacs and roses. Uh, what's another one? Hydrangeas. Depends on when they're gonna set their blooms. Some early hydrangeas set them in the fall. Some that are more of a fall bloomer will set theirs in early spring. You want, the, the point that I'm trying to get at is you want to make sure you check and you're not cutting off your blooms. You're not cutting off your buds. Now, if you're really concerned about it and 
this is a method I've used myself, um, especially when I'm trimming up my mother-in-law's yard or if I'm trimming up my own mom's yard, um, especially when I'm trimming up great grandma's yard, is I wait to see when that plant is done blooming. And then as long as it's not over 100 degrees that day, I'm out there in the morning gently trimming. Now, doing it that way, I'm not going to be as aggressive. I'm not going to be as snipper happy doing it that way as I would if I'm giving a strong haircut in the fall. But that's at least getting everything cleaned up. That's at least getting things to a point where they can be manageable and I'm not cutting off the buds for that next year. I'm not risking not having that bloom when I want it. So that's one way that you can do it. If you're unsure, again, check with your county extension office, check with your local gardening experts. Master Gardener is an amazing program with people that just love gardening. If you have a local master gardener, if you know of a master gardener, take advantage of them. They love what they do, talk to them. They will be fountains of expert information for you. So to kind of wrap everything back up since I'm going a little over the time I wanted to, there's two different methods for pruning. There's a rule of thumb, anything over the big base of your thumb is old growth, take it out. Or the rule of thirds, take out a third of the width, a third of the height, and a third of the overall plant. In either method, do not, do not take out more than a third of the plant. Do not trim more than a third of that plant. You will kill it otherwise. Other, but you can take little bits here and there to get your land, your trees and shrubs back under control. One thing I almost forgot to mention, dead growth like it's shriveled up it's not blue there's no leaves it's it's dead that does not count as part of your third so if you have half a shrub that's dead dead get it out of there don't don't keep dead branches don't keep dead dead parts of your plant take that out that's not included as part of your third that plant is that part of the plant is not receiving nutrients anyway you're not risking the health of the plant in fact you're going to risk the health of the plant more if you leave that dead growth. Okay, hopefully that's clear. Again, my name is Shelsa. I'm the owner and landscape designer for CS Apex Landscape Design. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out on my webpage, csapexlandscapedesign.com. We are also on Facebook and Instagram. And make sure you like and share this video so that you'll get notifications when our new videos come out. Thanks and have a great day.